crazy though. All right. QB carousel continues to spin in college football. Casey Thompson is headed to Nebraska. Excited for Casey. Uh, will be interesting to see what he can do there uh, with the new offense coordinator, Mark Whipple, who's coming from Pitt. We, we mentioned how that was, was probably a strong selling point for Scott Frost in Nebraska that Whipple was coming on, on board after what he did with Kenny Pickett this season. Man, I hope Casey Thompson plays really, really well in every game but one next year. Because you got to remember the Sooners are going up to Lincoln. So we'll see if they get some weapons around him via the portal. Uh, that's That's been their big issue, but who knows? But I, I'm i excited he's got an opportunity because I, I do think – I think he's a good player. Uh, I really do. So um, I'm hoping he succeeds there at Nebraska except for – when he plays OU. Yeah. He's, he's got a lot of talent. Uh, he's got some nice size to him. He's athletic. He can beat you with his legs. Uh, I wouldn't say that he's a, a great runner, but he's, he's more than adequate. Um, and you know, he can, he can throw the deep ball. Well, he's accurate underneath seems to be a smart kid. So yeah, I think it's, it's, it's gotta be, one of the best quarterbacks, like just talent wise that they've had at Nebraska in a long time. Um, I, so yeah, if, if obviously you saw the, the development, um, there with the Pitts offense under, under Whipple. So yeah, I, I think it's a, I think it's a great thing for both. I think it could be really good for Casey Thompson. And I think it could be really good for Nebraska. Yeah. I, I think some people thought that Casey might, embrace battling Dylan Gabriel for the job at OU and come along, but that didn't make much sense for, for either party in my mind. I, I think he wants to go somewhere where he can, he can get on the field and be the starter. And I, I I'm not going to pretend I know what Nebraska has when it comes to that quarterback room, but it'll be interesting to see. Uh, I would expect him to be the starter for them next season, but yeah, best of luck to Casey Thompson. He, I, I've known him since he was a little kid, and I just I, – I like the way he goes about his business. I do. It just just works. It kind of keeps his head down. So I hope that – I hope it works out for him. Okay, former Texas A&M quarterback Zach Calzada is headed to Auburn. So goes from one SEC West school to another, which is pretty interesting. Remember, Max Johnson is going from LSU – to become the new quarterback at Texas A&M. So that's why Zach Calzada left. Now Calzada headed to Auburn. We'll, we'll see if he ends up being the guy there for Brian Harson, Ted, but we little SEC West movement. And, oh, I love when this happens. You're muted, and everyone ah. on YouTube is going to know you're an idiot. Amazing. Um, this is just so funny to me. Like, Calzada is going to Auburn because Auburn's quarterback left for Oregon. It's just, I, it's unbelievable, man, that this many quarterbacks every year are starting to rotate. It's, it's crazy. That's why, that's why we got to keep the people updated on the QB carousel of college football. Like Jeez. it is kind of confusing. If you're, if you're not keeping a flow chart at home, man, you're it's tough. Yeah. You, you, I, I don't expect everyone every year, whenever the, the balls finally kicked off in late August, early September that you, you know, the team that's come to town, it's like, Oh, I didn't know that Thompson's now at Nebraska. You know, there's, it's hard to keep track of all of it. It's shocking. And, and remember Thompson at Nebraska, cause Quinn Ewers left Ohio state without ever playing and will now be a Texas and everyone assumes he's just going to play. So yeah, well, just, and going because, around and around. Adrian Martinez left Nebraska to go to Kansas state. Of course, which everyone now knows his girlfriend plays soccer at Kansas state. So that's it. Everyone's like, Oh, great get for Kansas state. Like, huh? The, the girlfriends are the best recruiters, man. There's no doubt. That's right. Uh, former Missouri quarterback. Let's just keep this thing rolling. Shall we? Former Missouri quarterback, Connor Basilak headed to Indiana. And remember, Opening at Indiana. Now he's going to have to compete for that job. They're just not going to hand it to him, but that's because Michael Penix Jr. went to Washington. 
So that that's there was a void. Basilak thinks he's uh, filling the void. Who goes to Missouri? All right. Don't be don't be a good young quarterback and kill the 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 chain here. This needs to go on forever. Okay. So someone's got to transfer to Missouri. Maybe Keep it'll be Keaton Slovis. Has he landed somewhere yet? I don't think so. I don't remember seeing anything. I don't think so. It, did I see that the other kid is in the portal now too? What was the uh, the freshman? Jackson Dart is he portaled? I I don't. I shouldn't have, shouldn't have even brought that up. I thought that I saw that somewhere, but I don't know. It's it's more that I'm going to be disappointed with myself than anything because I've really tried to stay on top of the carousel. So let's see. Googling. Yeah. I don't see anything off the top. Okay. Oh, nope. Nope. Keaton Slovis. That's four weeks ago. I don't see anything off the top. This is great podcasting, by the way. I, <laughs> I don't see anything as far as Jackson Dart being in the portal, but I guarantee you the second that Caleb okay, Williams good. is coming, he's going to be in it. And maybe he'll be the next quarterback yep. in Missouri. Who knows? Okay. A couple other things I want to talk about. Gary Patterson. And I, I think this this does pertain to Oklahoma football fans, which is why I think it's important we talk about it. Gary Patterson was reportedly in Austin this week, meeting with Steve Sarkeesian and Texas's coaching staff. He toured the facilities, and there was some sort of discussion about a possible role for him on Texas's staff. And the reports say the meetings went well. And there are some people that expect him to join that staff in some capacity. And you can say whatever you want about Gary Patterson, right? The last four seasons at TCU have been disappointing. That's why he's not the coach there anymore. But I will tell you this. The offensive coaches that I've been around for Oklahoma these last several years, they talk about Gary Patterson and that system differently than any other group in the Big 12. They have an incredible amount of respect for Gary Patterson. And a bunch of those offense coaches are still around at Oklahoma. And I'll say I don't want him on Texas's staff in any capacity. I don't want it because even though the results haven't been great, he has been tremendous at developing players. He is one of the brightest defensive minds in all of college football. People come through Fort Worth every year studying coverages that he invented. I don't want Texas to be better, and Texas will be better if Gary Patterson is on that staff in any capacity. Analyst, whatever. Assistant to the head coach, whatever. Don't do it, Gary. Don't do it. Yeah, it's kind of shocking. You feel like there's um I don't know if you're if your TCU and Patterson goes to to Texas, that seems I don't, it's not I know it's not the rival, but I don't I don't know that just seems uh seems strange there. But, you know, I I had heard we we had heard that Patterson was sniffing around uh the Oklahoma job to see what 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 he could do whenever, whenever Lincoln Riley was gone. So, I mean, you're going to see this with, with both Texas and Oklahoma, the additions of guys like this to their staff, we've seen it and been used to it happening at places like Alabama, right? It's, it's a place where a coach that's, you know, just been let go from a job or stepped away from a job, whatever takes some of those analyst roles. And, you know, we hadn't seen that, in the big 12 for the most part, definitely not at Oklahoma. That's going to be something that, that comes up and I, it wouldn't shock me if you see Oklahoma start making hires like that as well for, for guys that are not going to have on field roles. Yeah. The, the Nick Saban coaches rehabilitation center is clearly the most popular and most successful operation when it comes to those off the field analyst roles. I mean, you saw this week, right? Bill O'Brien getting yep. an interview with the Jacks to be the head coach. 
but he's and he's done a great job. He's done a great job as the offense coordinator for Bama. So I mean, yep. he it, OU, it, and that's going to be different. And that is going to that kind of goes back to what we talked about a little earlier about the program. They're going to be spending some money, and you know a lot of those coaches they they'll have buyouts. You know they'll be on. Know, minimal contracts, things like that, because they'll be getting paid from other places. But extra eyes, extra knowledge, just different opinions in the room, that stuff matters. And OU hasn't had that stuff recently. Like, they haven't. And that is that is something I know this new staff is is going to work toward as the transition of the SEC you know, kind of comes closer and closer because that's what Georgia does. That's what Alabama does. Like that's what that's the sec, man. They got all these guys behind the scenes that you don't even know are on the staffs that are helping put these game plans together. And it's, it's valuable. Like it, it's valuable to have those guys. And that's why I don't want Texas to have Gary Patterson as one of those guys. No, I refuse. I no. disavow no. that. <laughs> no, I'm with you. I'm with you. I don't, I don't want, uh, I don't want Patterson at Texas either. And it just, it goes back. I, I continue to think Sarkeesian's doing a really good job there. I, I'm not going to predict that they do anything in any upcoming season, but he's made some really good moves there. It's just a, a question whether or not the donors and regents and everyone down there can stay out of his way. Yeah, we'll see. 